Hi guys, it's Bob here. So, day off today. Ash is working. So today I thought I'd go somewhere I've been before, but you haven't, hopefully. But you might have been. Um, I've come to St Andrews. Home of golf. It took me like an hour to find a parking space though, because it's really busy. That's because it's so nice. Quite a few people playing golf, so we'll have a look at the, uh, the old course and the new course. Look at Van der Castle and you know, see the university and just show you what else is around to Andrews. Hopefully. Also, I've got a coat on which I've not worn for two years since I lost weight and got fat again. It's the first time I've had it on. And I wear my flat cap. So Ash is not worth wearing this flat cap. Just thinks I look old. But oh well. I like it and it's comfy. Right, every time I do one of these vlogs, guys, I always go and get a Starbucks. <laughs> the wife is going to kill me. So, today I had just a latte, skinny latte. However, I had the three cheese toasty. Oh, it was so good. So, I've probably got cheese in my mouth. Ah, that's fine. So, what I'll do, I took a picture. So, I'll drop that picture in for you right now. So I'm just going to wait, walking down the high street, getting some strange looks as I do. This, like, this is like the main high street, so there's mountain warehouse, there's water stones, it's all sorts. This is the main street, super dry, mountain, you know, subway, I don't know, that kind of thing. I'm just going to head towards the castle, and I'm going to walk back down past the university, and onto the golf course, so we'll have a look. Guys, this is one of the small streets off the main street and it's so picturesque some modern establishments and houses as you can see but there's some so there's some really old ones i mean there's no dates on top of these doors and when they were built but i will keep my eye out for you guys all right guys in, as you can see in front of us it's the castle well the ruins just here sorry but the camera's a bit bumpy it's pebbled road so not, try not to fall over. Okay guys, so it's a closer look. I won't go in today, because I'm gonna come back in a couple of weeks with my mum and dad. They might wanna go and have a look. Just to show you, from a distance, this is St Andrew's Castle. Or well, what's left of it. But as I pan around as well, it's very windy. There's the sea, and that's the North Sea, which is why it's quite chilly. Okay, so I've just walked down this ramp to see where it goes, and it comes to a very private little beach. It's quite cute. Looks very clean. Oh, there's a little seagull. Just chilling. Wanted some food. Because there's some people sitting in the box eating some crisps. Just here. Okay guys, as I walk down, the castle is on my right. This massive building on the left. This is one part, and I mean one part of St Andrews University. So I'm out of breath. <laughs> Steps were harder than I thought. So yeah, here's St Andrews University. Very cool guys. Alright guys, so I've just got the price list for the castle. There's two options. There's one for the castle only. And there's one for the castle and cathedral. Just so you can see, just in case you don't understand what I'm saying. And still behind me is the university. There's also this side as well now. So this is what the really San is famous for. The university. And obviously golf. But as with this end of town, it's all about the uni. So I'll walk up one of these streets in a minute. I'll go back onto the, one of the main roads, the main streets. And I'll show you a bit more of the university and as much information I can give you. So I've crossed over. I went to Golf a Gate. 
which is you can't see it this gate somewhere here here behind the tree walk through the gate and I'm somewhere it's like excuse me you can't come this way I was like oh there's, like, there's a sign that says pedestrian access denied which I missed so I got told by security I was not vlogging at the time it would have been funny if I was so I crossed back over the street and I found this behind me yeah it's the Museum of St Andrews University uh, yeah who knew that I, a university had a museum I didn't it's actually closed at the minute, we're doing um, a reef for, for a new extension but the university opened in 1413 holy moly that's a long time ago that's like, yeah, I can't even comprehend when that was hundreds, thousands of years ago my head's not working, day off, I'll switch off completely yeah, 1413, holy moly right, there's another entrance coming up on my left I think I can go this way I can. So, still, I'm between the univers university. One here, School of Classics. Behind me here. Oh, that does what you can study. I'm guessing everything. I think I've noticed though about St Andrews. There's so many pikes. I suppose because it's students. Parking is minimal. You need to pay for parking or you have a permit where I parked is a bit cheeky it's residential and it's free parking with dead end as well so I had to swim my car around yeah so it's very quiet I'm guessing because everyone's at university because it is Tuesday and it is 10 to 1 there's quite there's some people walking about but not as many as people as I thought there would be but when I come with mum and dad I'll be coming on a Saturday I'm guessing a bit busier yeah. But look guys, here it is, look. That's the actual university right there. Crazy. I was meant to be here or not, but I just walked into the grounds of St Andrews. For one of the uh, areas. But look at it. It is immaculate. You can't even go on the grass. There's a rope. Couldn't use a fish doesn't let you go on the grass. Maybe the floor's getting dirty inside. Who knows? Right, so I'm just going to walk under the bell tower. I just took a lovely picture of that, so what I want to do, I want to put that in right now for you. I want to see if I'm going to church, which is just here. I'm unsure if I can. But I might be able to, so we are going to have a go. I keep walking around in circles. <laughs> Churches everywhere. So let's go in this gate and see where this gate goes. I'll probably get told off in a minute for uh, logging on property, but we'll find out. Well, that's a shame. I can't get to the church. But it looks. Look at the stained glass windows. You know? It looks amazing from the outside. I can't get from the inside. There's one thing I've just noticed as I was trying to get into the church. Behind me, there's a brown sign. See it? It says Cromus, 100 yards. Now, if you're from Scotland, you know what that is. Okay, Cromus, all it is, well, it's not all it is, it's a, it's a world famous fish and chip shop. And there's a sign for it, a tourist sign. You wouldn't see that in any other place. I've never seen that in Edinburgh. It makes no sense. Everyone keeps laughing at me because obviously I'm talking to the camera. But I would have thought people in St Andrews know what vlogging is. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. So, yeah. So, university's behind me. I'm not going to head towards down the street, maybe back on to the front. Show you where the sea lot centre is. Show you that bit. And then onto the golf course. Hi guys, I've just realised it's getting a bit busier. I think it's an open day. 
February? Yeah, I suppose it would be. Open day for next year, so it's time to start. And, uh, Everyone's got books with the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All over the world, very Latin people, Americans. There's people who come to St Andrews, really. So they're the ones that have come. Because it does cost a pretty penny to come and study at St Andrews. Unless you're in Scotland and you get free tuition fees. I think, still, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, the section I'm walking on now is called the Scores. I don't really know why it's called that. But it is one of the most expensive places to live in the whole of Scotland. Houses are gigantic. One side is university, the other side is the sea. I'll try and show you if I can get to an entrance. But this side, here, look at the size of the house. Holy wow, that's big. And one of Ash's favourites, electric gate. Keypad to get in the door. Someone live here has got a lot of money. Hi right, guys. Just made a complete boo boo. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. Camera went off, so that's what gave me away. So this building, we'll start again. This building here, this is the aquarium for St Andrews. We came here early last year, I think. So what I, I'll get actually to put a in the website in the description. I will go and show you the price list. I'll take a picture and I'll put that in for you right now for that bit. But just also just to show you, just in these bits you can see through the trees, as you are cornered off from the sea. From what I remember, there are sea lions or seals in there or something like that but I'm not 100% sure because I can't remember but pictures which we'll, get, we'll put in for you I will put some pictures in of what there is Just to give you a, a quick overview of what's there. Yeah, so that's there. Behind us is Hotel Divan. Somewhere. Where is it? There, right behind me. Here. Uh, we had some fancy work for that, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't really know. So, it's behind me. Is a golf course somewhere there behind by the needle which is here behind that is a golf course an old course so we're going to go there next in a minute but i'm just going to get down to the aquarium and show you the the price list and you know that photo is already in somewhere i think what i'll do though like, no ignore that the photo for this aquarium is going to go in right now Pull me out down a bit, it's very windy. Down at the front. My muff is working overtime. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm tired already. There's a lot of walking. A lot, a lot of walking. Up and down, Dale, up and down. So, that was weird. <laughs> I just walked into the aquarium because the, the price list is on the inside, on the outside. And she was like, can I help you? I was like, I'll just take a picture of the price list because I'm vlogging. She was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Which I thought was very odd. So, um, because you know, I wasn't planning actually coming in or go into the sea aquarium today. So, behind me as well now, somewhere here. This is the seafood restaurant day. I want to go take a picture of this menu, right? This is the fame. The sea's here, right? The catch comes in into the restaurant. It's that quick. 
Yeah. Every day they get the fresh catch Next off the sea. It's also Michelin restaurant 2019. So it's just obviously got, oh no, Michelin tires. Not Michelin star, silly me. What an idiot I feel. So I thought this restaurant had a Michelin star. It doesn't. It's the Michelin Tire Award of 2019. So I've just took some pictures of the menu to give you a quick idea. But I'll tell you what they've got, guys. They've got red mullet soup, board mushroom risotto, Orkney scallops. That's just some of the starters. Shetland card, wild halibut. I hope it's wild. Where is it going to come from? The sea's right there. It's not going to be out of a river, river or out of a shop, is it? Weirdos. And venison. So what I'll do, I'll put a picture of the menu in. Right now. There's also a lunch menu. Which is two courses for £25 or three courses for 30 that picture will go for you right now. So that's that. Now what I'm going to do... Oh, car park. This is what I was looking for earlier. Now, when I came down to this car park, part of it was closed. Maybe they're doing work on it, I don't know. So, I couldn't add to park tonight, so I could have toys that already. But, maybe when I come mum and dad, I'll be able to get here. But hopefully I'll come early enough that we won't have to you know, but we'll see. Right, now, I'm going on a bit, I'm just talking because I'm vlogging. I want to go and find the golf course for you. And the beach. Okay. There's also a museum, a British golf museum, which I want to go, I'm not going to go inside, but I've just seen the price list. So what I'll do, I'm going to put that price list in for you right now. So that's the price list then. Now, the beach here at St Andrews is famous for one thing. Now, I won't actually mention what it's famous for, but if you do, I hope you do watch the vlog all the way through, I want you to comment the answer for me. What is the beach at St Andrews famous for? Let me know, see what you think. All right guys, so here's the museum, okay? So as a crossover from the museum, You have the putting green here. It's waiting for the traffic to pass and we'll cross over. The old pavilion. That's where you get the, the putts from for the putting green if you want to play, I believe. Oh, they've got falcons out. That's quite cool. Obviously, they must be getting rid of the uh, seagulls. This building on my left, here and now in front of me, this is the clubhouse for the old course here at St Andrews. Now one thing about this golf course, you can walk around it, which I'm going to do. I'm going to walk around the whole thing, we'll see. See how tired I get. So here's another little putting green. I know it's putting green because you can just see these little bits here. This is fenced off, so obviously they've relayed it for... It's got some moss on it, it must be something must be happening. 18th hole, the world famous 18th hole. Yeah, I can't actually walk on the golf course, but in a minute I'll show you. You can actually walk across it, but I want to see if I can get to the stone bridge. If anyone who likes golf, you'll know what the stone bridge is on, is on the 18th hole. This was made famous by Jack Nicholson. All right, guys, this is the first fairway. There's the tee. Some lady's about to tee off, but it goes all the way down. Ignore the car, they can do that, <laughs> but only when no one's playing, because that would be expensive if you hit a car. But that's a risk you take when you do walk. There's normally actually a marshal standing here to let you know when they can cross or not, because you need to be patient, because if someone's on the tee, you can't actually cross over the fairway, which is fair enough, because you might get hit with a golf ball. Okay, so this, let's put my hat back on, sorry, my hat's coming off. 
this building in front of me. Coming up to you now. Well, I'm not coming up to it because it's still probably 400 yards in front. Golf terms is the brand new hotel. It's St Andrews. And there's the beach. Just there. So, here's a sign to get to, so caution, golf and progress look before crossing. Someone's just taking a picture of the, uh, the bridge here. So, as I walk around, I will get to that <laughs> eventually, because it's quite a long way. Because it's 18 holes, 9 front, 9 forward, 9 back. So, I reckon probably three mile round trip, maybe. Let's find out. So this building is the Caddy Pavilion. Is that where they come for a coffee? Can that go with the uh, the golfers? Very strange. I don't have to go this way, or whether I can go this way. I don't know. It says it's out of bounds this way, but obviously that's the golf course. So this sign says private out of bounds. The Himalayas is property of St. Andrew's Ladies Putting Club. Golfers must not note that practice is not allowed. Ah, oh, okay. So you can't practice. So I think I'm walking down, oh, actually no, I know. I know I'm walking down the golf course, but I don't know where I should be or not. Let's find out if I get showered out in a minute when I get to this building. This building here. That's fine. It seems very busy in there. Um, so let's find out what that is as well. Oh, someone coming on the truck, so he might have to tell me off as well. This building is the ladies' putting club. Oh, I gotcha. So they can't practice on that, they've got to practice on this bit. And this was founded in 1867, so there could be in this bit, but they couldn't go into the clubhouse. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Right guys, I've actually walked onto the new course. <laughs> um, I need to work out to get to the road, which is there, right? The road is here. So I'll go that in a minute. Here's the first hole, the first tee for the new course. But I don't want to go right round because it'll take me forever, right? Because first tee, I think that's the last hole, 18. So he goes left to right, where the other one goes right to left. So I want to go this way. I think this one takes you to the Old Course Hotel. I don't know. I can't cross over because there's ropes. So I don't know how to get across. Right guys, behind me, here, is some workmen. Now normally, I don't know what I would do, I'd obviously to get the golf course ready. But actually just rebuild a bunker. Interesting. They just rebuilt it. You turf in it, make it a bit higher on the side maybe, yeah. So the lip's higher to get off. Tricky. I don't fancy walking all the way down to the end of the ninth hole and back up. So I'm gonna see if I can cut across without being told off. I don't know. Everyone's looking at me like I've got two heads. Because I'm just walking across the golf course. We'll find out. So, I've got some odd looks. <laughs> I'm just making sure no one's... Someone here is putting. So I know these guys down here won't play. It's very soft underfoot. I thought I was going to get told off now. But I didn't. Right guys, this one, this tee, is the 17th, 429 yards, it carries to the hole, when well, I was in the second place. The right is the new hotel, it looks very nice. Golf Resort and Spa, the old course hotel. There's a room lock, just there. 
obviously they're out golfing, or the maze not been in yet, because the curtains are open, the bed's not made. Watch your heads. Four. <laughs> Someone just teed off. Watch me. This bit's very strange, because the ladies who are on the first here, here, right? So this, this bit here, this side of the rope, is the first hole. This bit is the, is the 17th hole. So balls get very close to each other. So what I've just noticed as I walk past this conservatory here, guys, right? They do afternoon tea. There's an idea for two weeks. Afternoon tea at this hotel. Let's see how much it costs. I'll have a look. I'll put a link in. If I do, if I remember. <laughs> There's a lot of pictures and links going into this one. So, try not get hit by golf ball. Right, I wanted to get one to the bridge on the, on the 18th. Fairway, the old stone bridge. I can't because some people here. I've just teed off. So, I did take some pictures before they did tee off from a long distance on my phone. That's what I'll do for you guys. I'll put those in for you right now. Okay. Okay. The 18th hole. I've not done all of them because it's too far. It's 354 yards. It's normally a par four. Par four is about right, I reckon. Gets green in two. Some people get to green in one. Nowadays, you know. Okay, so I'm going to walk up the side of the 18th, all the way up the side, okay? So, there's the bridge. Different angle. The bridge is here because there's a, uh, a stream that runs right through the middle of the golf course. You can see it just here, look. Snakes all the way from the sea, well, to the sea, from the river. It's actually a good job, I don't want to cross the bridge because you can't. You're inside the bridge. They've also put new turf down because it gets used a lot. So they've closed it off. You probably get a cost for your photo, you know, yeah, find his photo. And that kind of thing, but here's the stream guys, look. I know golf ball's been in there over the years. Right guys. That's me done here in St Andrews. Remember the question I asked you earlier? The beach? Which is right behind me? Yeah. Try and work out that's famous for. It's famous for a few things, but there's one in particular thing it's famous for. Remember to comment on it. Leave in the comments. Ash will let you know whether it's right or wrong if she knows what it is. So that's bye from me. Thank you for subscribing and see you soon. Bye bye.